In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a cardboard VR headset instead of the Daydream View in order to use Daydream VR. Hi and welcome to this Q&A video. My name is Sebastian and this channel is called Daydream District, bringing you the latest and greatest of Daydream VR. So if this is your first time here and you would love to stay up to date about anything Daydream VR, consider to subscribe. I often get the question if you can use another VR headset, for example your favorite cardboard headset like the Bobo VR Z4 in order to use Daydream VR and the answer is yes you can and in this video I am going to show you how. Actually I had already recorded a very similar video a couple of months ago, however since then a couple of things changed so I am re-recording this video right now. First of all I have to make one thing perfectly clear, you still need the Daydream Motion Controller in order to use this and of course you also still need a Daydream ready phone. So basically in this video it's all about simply exchanging your Daydream view that you have because you had to buy it together with the Motion Controller in order to use Daydream VR and in this video I'm only going to show you how to exchange that Daydream view with your favorite cardboard VR headset like the Bobo VR Z4. In order to do so, you need to pair your cardboard headset with the Daydream app. And now let me show you how to do it. It's actually fairly simple. So you open up your Daydream app. Then what you do next, you go to the settings. And in the settings you can see on top headset. At the moment it's still paired with the Daydream view. So in order to pair with any other device, you will need the cardboard QR code that came with your headset. For example, with the Bobo Z4, I got this little manual here. And in this manual, you can see the QR code for this headset. And you either you got it with your headset or you do have to do a research on the web to find the QR code for your headset. So now you click on headset and as you can tell now I have to scan the QR code. Let me do that right now and already it found it and it says successfully paired. Your phone is now configured for your Bobo 2 plus viewer. Click on OK and basically that's it. So what to do next? Next you, you go to your Daydream app and on the very right bottom you see this blue button with the headset on it. Click on it. So now what you see next is incompatible headset. A Daydream ready headset is required. Visit the Daydream help center for more information. Open help center or got it. What you do now is you click on got it. And basically that's it already. You can totally ignore that warning. Now we have this place your phone into the Daydream headset screen. What you have to do on this screen, you tap a lot of times, probably 10 times, and then you will get to the screen with um, where you pair your Bluetooth controller. Now you get to the screen where you have to pair your motion controller and that's it already. Basically you only put your phone into your cardboard viewer and you can use Daydream just as if you would be using it on the Daydream View. Let me show you that. Yeah, so there you have it. You can use Daydream just as if you would be using it with a Daydream view. Let's open a game, virtual virtual reality. You might just be starting to find your groove. You know what they say, practice makes So I can use I can now use Daydream with a better field of view since I'm using another headset. I think it's actually fantastic that we're not forced to use the Daydream view to use Daydream VR. 
However, the next step for Google would be to sell the motion controller on its own so that we don't have to buy the Daydream View if we actually prefer another headset. This video is part of our Daydream VR Q&A series where every Wednesday I'm answering your questions concerning Daydream VR. So if you have any questions that you would like me to answer concerning Daydream VR, please do leave them in the comment section below. And that's it already for this video. If you have any question, do leave it in the comment section below. And if you don't have a question, do let me know. Did you ever use any other VR headset for Daydream VR other than the Daydream View? I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to Daydream District yet, do so now. Keep on daydreaming and see you in the next video.